Do you want to reduce your CPU temperatures by 5 degrees for less than $5? Well, watch this video and I'll show you a cheap and easy way to reduce your CPU temperatures. Let's check it out. <sighs> Yo, what is up? It's Daniel and today we're going to be looking at this little guy over here. Now, this is a bracket that's designed to replace the ILM that your motherboard suppliers put in for the new 12th gen um, CPUs. Now, as you can see, the new CPUs, they're quite long. So one of the issues that they've been facing is a good contact for your heaters. So because they're so long, the ILM, the way it's designed, has only got a little pressure point on the side here. So it doesn't really make perfect contact. Now what companies like Thermalright and other companies like um, Thermal Grizzly have done, they've made this bracket. So what you do is you unscrew your old original ILM and then you screw this one in and then put your heater. And what that's supposed to do is supposed to make a, a perfect little contact. Not perfect, but a lot better. And apparently it's said that it can reduce your CPU temperatures by five six seven degrees so we're going to do some tests and we're going to see how that works so what i'm going to do i'm going to show you how this came in the box but first of all looking at it the quality seems really good um it's made of aluminium or aluminum for you americans um yeah the it's quite a, it's like a brush aluminium the edges on the outside are nice and rounded they're not so sharp and then on the inside it's a bit sharp but i think that's just so that the can make good contact with the CPU. Now I've seen other reviewers like Gamers Nexus say that like the machining is not as good as the the Grizzly one but this one that I've got is perfectly fine. Now another thing I should mention is I live in China and apparently to get this in other places like America and that it's about four dollars so for me it's 35 I think I paid 35 yuan and arrived in two days. Now I've heard that other people that bought this product in America and it's four dollars which compared to the thermal right one or the sorry the thermal grizzly one is thirty five dollars but that is manufactured in Germany so you can imagine that the manufacturing tolerances are a lot better etc but for something that's just a bracket I don't see the point of spending an extra thirty dollars on something that pretty much does the exact same job. Now, like I said, the quality of this one's pretty good. Secondly, I said, I live in China, so it's a lot cheaper for me. It arrived to me in two days, which is really quick. Um, but if you can get your hands on this and um, you're willing to wait a couple of months, I believe that the thermal results are gonna be really good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in and we're gonna do some temperature gauges and that, and we'll see. Um, currently my PC is running really hot um, because it's like 40 degrees Celsius outside, it's crazy. But yeah, let's do that. Cheers. Okay, so let's have a look at what's inside the box. So as you can see, it's LGA1700-BCF and this is the grey colour. And also have the same 18xx ILM bending correct frame. Great English there. Let's have a look at the box. This normal cardboard box at the back here you can see you've got the authentic tag a bit of a code there to check some diagrams to see unfortunately they've covered it let's see what's on the inside okay and that's it so we got um, a special tool to take off the ilm and then we've got the actual bracket itself and then we've got some instructions these are in Chinese but they should be pretty straightforward and then we have the bracket itself now the quality seems to be very good I've seen other reviewers have had some of them that didn't really ship so well, well the, the machinery on it but this seems perfectly fine it seems nice and clean and then there we go there's a thermal right ILM bracket. We're going to stick it in and see how it does with the thermals. So I'm quite shocked at the difference that this bracket made. Uh, let's break it down. 
So first of all, I'm rocking a 12600K. That is overclocked and that's one of the reasons why I bought this bracket. And also my room doesn't have AC and the summer has been brutal with temps hovering around 40 degrees for the past month and it's going to stay that way for a while. Now without babbling on, let's look at the results I got after installing this bracket. So first my idle temps were quite high at about 40 degrees and after installing the bracket they dropped to 33 degrees which is still considerably high but 8 degrees lower. By the way temps here are plus 100 degrees Fahrenheit here in China. Now let's take this big difference with a grain of salt as I can't control all the variables but let's look at the next couple of results. If you look at the temps while running a load the advantage isn't as great but very noticeable. While running a load, the results were on average about six degrees lower, which for something that costs $4, in my opinion, is worth it. If you are running something, especially like a K series and especially a 12900K. Now let's look at why the bracket reduces the temperatures by such a significant amount. Due to the new LGA 1700 standard, which has resulted in longer CPUs, one of the old methods of mounting the CPU isn't as efficient. If we look at this video by Gamers Nexus, we can see that the standard ILM mounting solution doesn't apply equal amounts of pressure to the CPU, which can lead to improper contact and this affects temps. The better the contact is CPU, the better the heat dissipation, which results in better lower temps. Now, the final question is, should I buy this bracket? And in my opinion, definitely yes. For a product that is relatively cheap, that can reduce temp so significantly, it's a no-brainer. If you require it, you can spend hundreds of dollars on an AIO, but not achieve these types of differences. Personally, this product cost me 35 yuan on Taobao, which is about five dollars. Um, I'm not sure if you've seen Thermal Grizzly has a similar product. Compared to the Thermal Grizzly option, that, which can be difficult to obtain. Currently, it's $44 for Micro Center, but sold out and $70 at Walmart. But I'm sure you can find it when it comes in stock at a cheaper price. But if you're thinking of building a 12th gen Intel PC or 13th gen Raptor Lake PC, when that comes out, I would consider ordering one of these off a website like Amazon or AliExpress for about $12 to $14, but I'm sure you can find a deal. In conclusion, this product is not so difficult to install and quite cheap. And if you consider the up gain in performance, uh, I think it's a no brainer. Now that's it for me. Uh, hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more videos. And also comment if there are any Chinese products you want me to test. Thanks for watching. Cheers.